we practiced from Monday to Friday at games. We had the players from all around Europe, but I wish that I would have stayed longer because I actually loved America. Good morning, everybody. I'm about to head to the airport. I'm flying to Sweden today and I'm going to visit one of my good friends from America, Ahmad. He is from Sweden and he's living there again now. So I'm going to see how he lives and I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Sweden. And Ahmad is going to share his story going to America and returning from America. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty interesting and I'll catch you guys in Sweden. <laughs> Only been at this for two years. Thank God this shit happened so quick. Fashion me the latest. Money coming in, but so do hate. Bro, fields is open here, man. And there's even a ball. Ah, oh, this normal in Sweden. Fields are open. Bro, it's normal, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's also open before. It's open sides. That's crazy, man. Open fields. We don't have that in Germany. Playboy, I don't need a car. In the hood. In the hood, uh, very sweet and it's all What's up, vlog? My name is Ahmad Taha and I live here in Sweden, Utvala. It's a, it's a small city outside of Gothenburg and I am 21 years old. Uh, I went to America, played college with Rami at Life University. And I went to America because I wanted to get a new experience to see and, to, and to also get a college degree and see the outside of Sweden. I lived here my whole life. How was the level there compared to Sweden? So when I went to America, I, at the beginning, I thought that it, that it would be uh, worse than it is here in Sweden because uh, that's what you like to think about America because you always think that the biggest uh, sport there is like American football, stuff like that. But when I actually came and played with life, it was actually pretty, pretty good. It was actually a really good uh, level there. We practiced from Monday to Friday at games. We had the uh, players from all around Europe. So it was a pretty good experience, pretty good players and a pretty good team. And they actually shot me with the, with the level. So my time in America was uh, pretty short, unfortunately. I wish that, would, that I could stay there a bit longer. So when I first arrived in America, I was supposed to arrive in August, but uh, due to visa complications, I arrived in the beginning of uh, September. And I left and went back home around of February, beginning of February. Yeah, it was pretty short due to uh, personal issues here back home. I had to come back home and uh, help my family out a little bit. But I wish that I would have stayed longer because I actually loved America. It was beautiful, it was new experience, new people. People there were, was amazing, the team was amazing. And I met the Rami, of course, one of my, one of my closest friends in America. And right now I'm uh, studying actually. I'm studying for a PE, PE teacher. <laughs> For uh, middle school, and I'm uh, and I'm actually playing soccer still to this day. I'm playing in a division, a division three club here in Sweden. As you see, if Etvalla, it's my hometown club, and uh, that's where I've played played uh, most of my youth years. So this is where I used to play before America. We're right now currently playing in uh, division three in Sweden and before I came to America this is where I grew up every single day I used to train here with my friends Ikudvalo uh, was my first team that I ever played with, uh, played with and when I left for America uh, when I came back also for America I also came back and it's a pretty good team decent level but I would say that the level in America is a bit better what it was for at least my experience was better it's a, it's a lot of love here it's a lot of, a lot of memories uh, and that's why when I came back I like it it shows, it shows to come back and play with, with this team. And uh, how was your, how did your teammates react when you came back? How, how was that? 
they were actually really really happy because some of them were like happy and they were like asking questions and they was like happy for my uh, return and all of that so it was a it was a really good greeting and coming back to the team so it was yeah really good and was happy <laughs> This is where I grew up. It's uh, called Hovelt Dalaberi. A small area. Uh, here in this apartment, it's, it's like mostly Arabs and Somalis and Albanians. It's mostly uh, foreigners. And the difference between here and America is actually pretty, pretty big. Because when you grow up here, it's like you got all, you got all your friends from childhood, your families, your cousin. They're all like in, the, in like the same place. And then when you go to America, it's completely different. You got a new, it's a new city, new, new people, and it's completely different. So yeah, this is where I grew up. This is what it's called the hood. <laughs> so this is the gym where I used to train every single day before I went to America. As you guys can see, it's a small gym. It's always been the same weight, same stuff. This is where I used to be like every single day for I went to America. And then this gym compared to America is a big difference because in America you had like every machine you could, you could like possibly think of. You have everything you could imagine. It was a lot bigger. So going to America and their gym to where this one, I was so excited. Cause I'm a guy who like, loves to like work out and be active. So that was a big achievement for me also.